In this video we're going to look at the orientation or the direction on a map and we're going to focus on using the compass rows in order to do this. Here is the basic compass rows and we have north and south, east and west. In between each of those points we have another point we always put the north or the south first. And so this point here, between the north and the east, we put north first, and we get northeast. Down here we put south first, it's in between south and west, so it is southwest. So therefore this one here, south first, and then east. This one in between the N and the W, it's a north and a west. We also have points in between each of those points. Now the rule to use is that the major direction always goes first. So we look at the two directions. So if we look over here, we've got northeast and east. So when we're looking at this point just here, what we have to do is to put the major direction first. So the major direction is east and the minor direction is northeast. So that line there is going to be east, northeast. Down here we've got west and southwest. So this point here, it's going to have a west and a southwest in it. The major direction is west, the minor direction is southwest. So the only mistake you could make here was to say this is southwest, west, because you've put the southwest first. But actually, that's not what we do. We put the major direction first, and that means this one will be west, south, west. So have a look at this point here and think what would the direction be for this point. Okay, it's between east and southeast. We put the major first, east, and the minor second, southeast. So if you wrote SEE, -E, that was incorrect. You put the minor one first. It's going to be east, southeast. Okay, we'll do two more. So this point here, what would that be? Okay, it's between south and south southeast. The major is south. The minor one is southeast. Okay, and the last one that we'll do, uh, we'll do this one here. It's between northwest and north, but you don't write northwest north, you have to put the major one first. It's north, northwest. If you practice drawing that two or three times, you'll pick it up fairly quickly. So we'll apply these directions to a map situation. So we'll have a look at a couple of these cities here. We'll start with some easy ones and we'll do. Uh, city A, City B, and City C. Now, the only thing that will get you confused is if you get the cities the wrong way around. So if we say, what is the direction from City B to City A? It means that we're moving from this direction to this direction. So we have that arrow pointing to the left there. And we look back at the compass rows and when we move to the left, we're moving to the west. So the direction of city A from city B is west. If the question was the other way around, what is the direction of city B from city A? then because we're doing from A, we'd have to start at A, and then as we move towards B, we're moving to the east. So if we did what is the direction of city C from city B, we can see that arrow there, it's quite obvious that we're moving to the north. If we look over on the right-hand side of the map, if we were to go from this city to this city, now we're starting to move into some, uh, not one of the four cardinal points, not north, south, east or west. 
And if we look at our compass rows, we see that we're moving in this direction, which is to the northeast. And you can see that arrow there going to the northeast. If we were doing it from uh, in the other direction, from the top city down to the bottom city, we would be moving to the southwest. So this is a pretty straightforward concept. We just want to do one test to make sure uh, that everyone understands it. If I was at uh, this place in the Hunter Valley Gardens and I walked from this point to this point, in which direction would I be walking? And most people would look at that and say, well, you're moving towards the north. But this is where we need to be very careful when we are looking at a map. In most maps, the orientation will be to the north. And we see this on Mission Island, our orientation is shown here and it's pointing towards the north. The reason I took this photo of Hunter Valley Gardens is because when I was looking at the map, I noticed something unusual that the orientation was a different direction. So north is actually pointing down on this map. So if I was to follow the black line on this map, I'd actually be walking south. If I moved in this direction, I'd probably think that I was walking towards the northeast, but I'd have to be really aware of the orientation down here and realize that that's not the direction I'd be walking in at all. And I'd have to look at my compass rows and figure out how I'm going to, which direction I'm going to be walking in. On most maps, however, the orientation is going to be to the north, like this one here, and that will make finding the direction of one place to another place easy, as long as you're starting at the place that you're going from, and draw your arrow to the place you're walking to.